My video tip for the day is on finding alternative protein sources that you can take when you're on the go, like dried shrimp. That's right, I'm holding a bag of dried shrimp. Now, unless you're Asian, you're probably not familiar with this food product. Yes, you can find this at almost any Asian food market. Dried shrimp is used in Chinese, Korean, Thai, Filipino dishes, and it's just good plain. Now let's take a look at the nutrition content of this bag of dried shrimp. Now there's about four ounces here. Per serving, which is an ounce, provides 18 grams of protein, only one gram of fat, and zero grams of carbs. You keep this in your car, in your desk, in your briefcase, in your backpack. Carry it around wherever you want, whenever you want. Dig in, it's just like beef jerky, guys. If you're sick of beef jerky, you like shrimp, this is a great alternative. And yes, this is also used in cooking. In Thai cuisine, it's used with chili peppers to make sauces. It has that umami flavor, that fifth flavor, if you will, uh, that provides the taste that's so dominant in many Asian dishes. But like I said, it's a great way to just throw it in your bag and you've got a protein source no matter where you are. The reason I'm actually eating dried shrimp today is, well, first of all, I love it, but uh, I was actually out in my fasting window usually ends around 4 p.m. I thought I would be home well before 4 p.m. Turns out, had a little change in my schedule, so I'm not home. So I live close to Koreatown, so I was driving through, stopped at the Asian market, grabbed the bag, dried shrimp. Like I said, 18 grams of protein per ounce. This bag right here is about four ounces. So that's over 70 grams of protein right here great source of protein now some people will say oh that has cholesterol 180 milligrams of cholesterol jim isn't that bad for my health no actually cholesterol is actually good for your performance your strength and your muscle mass gains in fact one study was done comparing a low cholesterol diet to a higher cholesterol diet while subject for following a weight training study what did they find? Well, they found that the group getting more cholesterol doubled, doubled, that's twice, twice the gains in muscle mass and strength is the group consuming low cholesterol. That's right, guys. Cholesterol is actually important for your muscle function. Cholesterol is important for maintaining integrity of a muscle cell. And as the research shows, Clearly, it's very critical that you're consuming cholesterol in your diet if, if your goal is to maximize your gains in muscle mass and muscle strength. So don't fear dietary cholesterol, guys. Most people with cholesterol issues have a hereditary issue with the way that their body produces cholesterol. Don't worry about your eggs. Don't worry about the cholesterol from shrimp. As a matter of fact, try to get in extra cholesterol unless you have an issue with your cholesterol because it's going to help your gains.